Hi scholars, we have a math lesson today all about weight. So we're going to be comparing objects based on their weight. So you're going to find objects in your house and you're going to use them to figure out their weight. So what are we going to be learning about today? Weight. Okay, so let's go over our learning goal first. Here's our first learning goal. I will use weight to describe objects. So you're going to describe them as heavy or light. I will identify objects that are heavy and light. So you're going to tell me which ones are heavy and which ones are light. And last, I put a star on it. That's your home learning today. I will sort objects that are heavy and light. So you're going to be charting and sorting which objects in your home are heavy and which objects in your home are light. So let's get started. So let's use our think time for a minute and think about this word, heavy, heavy. What animal do you know hmm, that is heavy? I'm hearing a lot of answers from you. So I heard someone say an elephant is heavy. <laughs> so I'm doing it. The trunk of an elephant. Okay, so an elephant is heavy. Elephant, it's heavy. Good, now let's use our think time and think about an animal that is light. Hmm, which animal is light? Light. I'm hearing a lot of answers. Now, one, I heard one of you say, a bird? Yes, a smaller bird outside, maybe a baby bird, is light, so it's not that heavy. A new baby bird. I just dry my best. Great. So a bird is light and an elephant is heavy. Very good. So we're going to be using a balance to describe more what it means to have an object that is light and an object that is heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you guys around to see our table. Great, now do you see the balance that I have on our table? Oh, there we can see that, mm-hmm. So I have a balance here and I have some objects today. I have a tape dispenser. I have a dot container. I have a butterfly ornament or decoration. I have a toy soldier and a letter card. Now this balance when something is heavy, it's going to go down, it's heavy. And when something is light, it's going to stay up. So if I put something heavy, let's find something heavy. Like this tape dispenser, I'm gonna put it in the balance. Oh, it's so heavy, it even broke. It no, it didn't break. So, it's in the balance. Now, what is happening to the balance? Is it straight 
or did it tilt because of the weight? It tilted. So I see the balance tilted because the tape dispenser was really heavy. See, went up. Great, now what do you think will happen when I put the butterfly ornament? For the decoration. So we'll stop the balance so it's centered. Oh, let me fix this side. Okay, see it's even. See that yellow bar? It's even. I'm going to put the butterfly. Now, did it move as much as the tape dispenser? No, it's light. It's not heavy, so it only moved it a tiny little bit. Now, I'm gonna take that out. Okay, and make it balance. Which optic do you think is heavier? the green dot paint or the soldier? Which one will go down? Which one is heavier? Did you make a prediction? Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna put both and we're gonna see which one is heavier. Wow, which one is heavier? The green dot paint, I see it went down, it's heavy. And which one is lighter? The toy soldier. Mm -hmm. Now let's try another combination of weight. What if we try the letter card and the toy soldier? So take a minute and think about which one is heavier the card or the soldier. Make a prediction. Okay, did you make one? Let's try it in the balance. Which one is heavier? I'm trying to make it stop moving. I see that it's a little bit tilted on the side of the, so, so it's not straight, it's a little bit like this. So which one is heavier? The toy soldier is a little bit heavier, it's a little more down than the letter card. Great, so this balance helps us see what things are heavier and what things are lighter. So even if I use the same objects, for example, if I use some sticks, I'm gonna put one stick and one stick. So those are the same they weigh the same, the balance is straight. But now I'm gonna put more sticks on this side. What happened? They weigh more, there's more sticks. Now if I put the same amount of sticks, one, two, three, four sticks, see? One, two, three, four sticks. And I will put four sticks on the other side. One, two, three, four sticks. If I put the same, then the balance is equal. They weigh the same. If I take away the sticks, that's four and zero, then four sticks are heavier. Okay, great. So let's keep going with our learning lesson today. So now I'm gonna tell you your home learning for today. So for today, 
Go grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, got it. So I want you to fold the paper in half. So your paper will be smaller, but here's my paper. I'm going to fold it in half. Great. Now that it's folded, it's easier to chart objects that are heavy and objects that are light. So on your paper at home, you can make a line going down. And we're gonna put heavy. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. That's okay. It's a Y. Heavy and light. Okay, now that I have heavy and light, I can go gather some things at home and I want you to chart which of those things that you have at home are heavy. Draw it and label. So I used a green stamp bottle. So I'll draw that. It said green on the sign. And this stamp bottle was heavy. So draw and label things that are heavy. So you can draw many heavy things that you find in your home. And then draw and label things that are light. So in my classroom, I found a little decoration of a butterfly. It was a paper butterfly. So I'm gonna write here, butterfly. And that was light. Okay, so what is your home learning today? Go collect objects that are heavy, draw them and label. Go collect objects that are light, draw them and label. When you're done, identifying heavy and light, you can color it and take a picture or video and send it to me. Okay, hope you had fun learning in math today and comparing objects based on their weight. See you next time, scholars.